Hello programmer, welcome to a very first PSP tutorial and in this introduction video, I will tell you what is PSP, what is a PSP file, what PSP can do, why PSP and what are the tools required to run a PSP code. So first, PSP called as Hypertext Preprocessor, but in early time, PSP called as Personal Homepage. Now, what is PSP? PSP is widely used server-side open source scripting language that run on web server and it is free to use. Now next is what is a PSP file? A PSP file is a file that have extension .psp and in other word if the file name end with .psp then that's we call a PSP file and that PSP file can contain text, HTML, CSS, JavaScript and PSP code itself. PSP code are executed on the server and the result is returned to the browser as a plain HTML. Now what PSP can do? It can generate dynamic page, it can create, open, read, write, delete and close the file on the server. It can collect data from the HTML form. It can send receive cookies. It can add, delete, modify the data on our database. It can be used to control user access. It can encrypt data. Now the question is why PSP? Because it run on various platform, Windows, Linux, Unix, Mac, and many more. It is compatible with various server like Apache, IIS and other. It support wide range of database. It is free and it is easy to learn. In upcoming tutorial, we will learn how to install a web server on our operating system. We will learn about PSP variable, data type, function, array, control flow and many other stuff. At last tool required for PSP. Now first start with the editor. Editor are the software on which we can write our PSP code. Some of the editor are Sublime Text, Visual Studio Code, Bracket, Atom, Komodo Edit, Notepad++ and there are many other. But my favorite one is Sublime Text. So in an entire tutorial, I'm gonna use Sublime Text. For a browsing purpose, you can choose one on which you feel comfortable. But I'm gonna go with Google Chrome. At last, web server. Server side scripting language like PSP is run on web server. Some of the web server are Apache, IIS, and this SAMP, WAMP, and MAMP are not a web server. But they contain Apache web server, PSP, MySQL database, so that we can run our PSP code and manage our database. And this much for this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon.